Hey guys, it's Simon here from OneDesktop.net, and in this video we will continue our video series which we are cur currently running. Um, this is part 5 uh, where we are comparing the system apps between Windows 10 Mobile and Windows Phone 8.1. Uh, on the left side I do have Windows Phone 8.1 here and on the right side Windows 10 Mobile. Um, in, the, in this uh, part of the series, uh, we are comparing the store app, which has completely changed. Uh, the video app or movies and TV, uh, what it is called in Windows 10 Mobile. And last but not least, the wallet app. Um, this is the last uh, system app which we are comparing. So it's just a quick last part of the series. And yeah, just uh, drop me a, a comment below if you have some feedback for this series or if you wish to see another video series. Uh, stay tuned and watch the video. So let's start. Um, first of all, the store. Uh, we will just swipe here. Um, to the app list and as you, so here we do have the store um, just open it up uh, same speed almost on both devices it just takes a bit longer on Windows 10 mobile to load the content but the app itself did start up very fast um, so as you can see um, the overall design completely changed of the app you do have it like in Windows 10 now um, so that you can swipe here uh, between some um, recommendations, some picks for you. You can just, uh, you have here all such overviews uh, where you can swipe through. Um, in Windows Phone 8.1 you do have that as well. But you can also swipe to the right, for example, to get some categories of apps. Um, like here, for example. And it, yeah, it does also recommend you specific apps, though I don't know where it does get these apps from, because I don't have installed a single game, so, yeah, I'm not really interested in that stuff, but, yeah, doesn't matter. Um, you don't have an app bar at the bottom of the screen in Windows 10 Mobile. What you do have is the uh, well-known hamburger menu. Um, there you can switch between uh, some categories for example games and normal apps uh, so you now you just get an overview of all games and it's um, more sorted here um, you can just uh, choose apps so that you only get displayed apps and no games um, you can go to movies and TV uh, which is of course also possible um, to buy through the uh, store app uh, same like yeah it's in uh, Windows Phone 8.1 this is actually only possible in the movies app itself um, but yeah I think yeah you get directed then to the store anyway so you can see you can't really see it here um, but it, if you click on in the vid in the video app for example to get more videos uh, you get directed to the store uh, where it then shows you all the videos and music to buy uh, however um, there's some more stuff here in the hamburger menu in Windows 10 mobile uh, in Windows Phone 8.1 you get three th uh, three uh, points here my apps um, which is now my lab library in Windows 10 mobile um, where you can see all your installed apps uh, in the past it's sorted between apps and games and it's even sorted in works on this device and doesn't work on this device so you can't um, hit an error also with installing an app it just gives you the apps uh, in one list which are ready for this device and it shows separately the ones uh, which aren't compatible with Windows 10 Mobile. Um, next off we do have the downloads of course. Um, you get this uh, here in downloads and updates. Uh, you ha don't have a swiping action here to get to the history. 
in Windows Phone 8.1 you do get of course this by swiping once to the right and then you get a uh, come again to the downloads um, and settings of course you get also here in Windows Phone 8.1 um, you can set to update apps automatically when you're on Wi-Fi um, that's possible in Windows Phone 8.1 as well um, I've normally turned that off because I want to see uh, which apps are updated uh, Lifetile of course um, is also available in Windows Phone 8.1 already um, purchase sign in um, that's just uh, to check uh, if you buy an app or anything if it's really you or someone else um, and account you can manage your devices which are connected to your Microsoft account and which from where you can buy apps for example so from your surface your phone your desktop PC all these devices are listed there and um, it's just a link to the Microsoft website to your Microsoft account um, and yeah there isn't much more anything apart from that you can see about section version number and all that so uh, check for updates uh, has been removed from here uh, which is good because it doesn't have to do anything with settings so they have moved this um, to downloads and updates in there at the bottom right you can choose uh, check for updates on um, search just go back to the home screen uh, yeah okay now we are movies and TV yeah you can uh, view your account that just opens once again the Ma uh, Microsoft account and Microsoft Edge payment options can be um, set but this yeah it all directs you to your Microsoft account in uh, Microsoft Edge so that's not really inbuilt in the app even redeem code um, brings you to the website uh, yeah m my library and that we had that already uh, account you can add different Microsoft accounts which is very cool um, if you do have a few family members for example and one buys this app and the other one buys this app you can just uh, add a few Microsoft accounts and get some apps here even if you haven't bought the apps by yourself but your brother has for example uh, you can just add this Microsoft account here um, but we won't do this now um, yeah there isn't much more search has been moved to the top right here uh, which is uh, more handy I guess yeah it's just a matter of taste actually um, you can't currently you cannot use swipe um, which is very annoying I hate it uh, swipe is I love sm swipe to use and just much more faster in typing and that's currently not best in the store but um, maybe Microsoft will add this it's not a deal breaker but it's a bit uh, just a bit sad to don't have this here but overall I like the new store experience um, the store app is very stable um, now uh, it works pretty good um, it's not crashing almost all apps are now installing sometimes I, I'm getting errors uh, with installing app updates or new apps but I'm not sure if this is a problem of the store app or if it's just the incompatibility of apps with Windows 10 mobile uh, I guess we will yeah see this in the future uh, when Windows 10 mobile gets finally released and if there are still some apps it's probably a incompatibility uh, yeah thing uh, yeah, so let's um, go on to the next app, and we since we are going uh, through this uh, thing in alphabetical order, uh, you can see store is a system app, and next off we do have the video app here. Um, I'll just go to movies and TV, uh, what it is called in. Windows 10 Mobile, it's not uh, video anymore. Uh, in Windows Phone 8.1, it was kind of a Xbox app, as you can see, Xbox Video. Um, in Windows 10 Mobile, it's a bit more independent. It isn't related to Xbox anymore in any way. Um, in Windows Phone 8.1, you get this classic swiping action here. 
uh, where you just uh, go through all that stuff. Uh, as you can see, this is what I meant. Browse movies in store. And yeah, okay, it doesn't bring you to the app store. Just do a um, kind of movie store, which is ex actually a bit strange. Um, in Windows 10 Mobile, you just uh, hit an and movie and you get directed to the app store so it brings you to the app where you um, expected it to bring you um, it's very cool um, that it this is all more sorted now and better organized I mean you can buy now in the store what you want to buy and you can find there what you expect to find there um, it's more sorted now I like it um, yeah, apart from that, the app, yeah, it's a nice new design. It has also got the hamburger menu here on the left. It's a matter of taste if you like these menus or not. But um, overall, overall, it's just, it has been um, overhauled to fit the new design language. You can set a few uh, helpful things here. For example, download quality. Um, the download devices, uh, yeah, you can show them here. Um, uh, yeah, and a few other things for it, for your account. And so um, what I like here is that it tests um, almost the same UI like the store app. So it's uh, if you open up the app, it's very familiar. Um, you get the, the, the search icon on the top right. You get the hamburger menu on the top left. And you get also these settings here that your account downloads all at the bottom here. And yeah, that's cool to see some continuity. Yeah, I don't know what this word is in English. However, um, maybe you know what I mean. Um, it's just cool to see this uh, to work is so good. Um, I like the new UI. It looks pretty nice. And I guess I have such a focusing issue again with the 640 here. Yeah, it's sharp here, but it isn't sharp. Um, so I'll do just a quick cut here of the video. And we will have another look at the wallet app, which is the last system app. Okay, I'm back again. And focusing is, seems to work again on the 640. I'm not sure if this is an issue of the phone itself or of the Windows 10 Mobile preview. I guess it's a preview. Um, 640 is a great phone. And I didn't make any bad experiences so far with it. Uh, however, um, we'll just have a quick look at the last uh, system app if we ha which we have. And it's the same in Windows 10 Mobile and Windows Phone 8.1. It does have even the same icon. Uh, just open it here you get your payment cards in uh, Windows Phone 8.1 here, uh, which you have added. You can, uh, in Windows 10, you can just hit go to store, um, which uh, is basically a shortcut to search um, for such payment services apps um, in the store. You can also um, hit the plus button, and which brings you also here. Uh, it's a bit weird that if you press back, you don't get immediately back to the app where you have been before, but to the start screen of the, uh, to the home screen of the store. But yeah, um, yeah, that's it in the wallet app. Actually, there's a much more. You can go to about, um, which should be here as well. No, it isn't here. Okay. Um, yeah, you can see your. Uh, you can have a look at the version number of the app if you're interested in. Um, but there isn't much more to see. Uh, apart from that, you can, of course, send feedback since it's still in beta. Um, about, yeah, okay, that's it, actually. Um, you can refresh in Windows Phone 8.1. And you can, can add a bin here, a wallet bin. Um, which you have to enter always when you open the wallet app. Um, that's currently not possible in Windows 10 Mobile, but I guess um, 
this is a very early status of the app it has been just ported ported from uh yeah from windows phone 8.1 to windows 10 mobile and i guess there will come a bit more uh, stuff in the f with future updates uh, microsoft is uh, updating apps individual individually uh, from the operating independently from the operating system in windows 10 mobile so um, you can get new features also without new system uh, operating system updates uh, which is very great um, so yeah they um, I'm sure they will bring a bit more to the payment app um, as I have shown you in the store app before you can um, have a look at the payment options here as well but it just uh, brings you to the Microsoft website um, where you can edit your payment options just okay yeah, I have two set verification turned on however um, yeah that's it um, that was the last part of my video series um, where we are comparing the system apps of uh, Windows 10 mobile and Windows Phone 8.1 uh, I've received some feedback already and we will probably do a video um, to compare the animations uh, which Microsoft has changed in Windows 10 Mobile and um, have a look at them, how they have changed uh, compared to Windows Phone 8.1 and yeah, if you want to see any other videos just drop me a comment below um, hit the like button and Subscribe to our channel and have a look at our website for more information. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.